Wait, what? Why? Oh, they're gonna do 30. So we do take a knockout. Death, taxes, and a crazy deck from Flex Daddy Righteous. Today we're gonna look at Waylord Frostmaw. Welcome back to the channel, little flexers. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Hope you've been having a great time watching these vids. I have been watching them back and they've been super fun. I don't know. I just, it's been a really good time here on YouTube uh, making this content for you. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Today we have a super cute, super cool little Frost Moth Waylord deck. So let's take a look at the cards. So first we have our Waylord with 200 health. That is one of the biggest non-tag teams, non-V Pokemon that we have available to us. The ability Water Veil, whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, it recovers from all special conditions. Not a bad ability to have, especially with Paralysis, Sleep, Confusion, all those kinds of cards and all those kinds of uh, status conditions out and about. We got Hydro Pump, though, at the attack. That is where this card truly shines. Four energy. This attack does 40 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. But if you have four energy, then you're automatically doing a base of 210 damage. And of course, you can augment that up into, you know, the stratosphere by just attaching more and more water energy. So Hydro Pump. Our ideal attacker, uh, we really, I mean, actually the only attack that we have in here that's viable. I suppose we have Whalmer, Hydro Pump, a very similar attack here. Does 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you have three water energy attached, you're doing 70 damage. Not as good as the Whalord in terms of ROI on those water energy attachments. How do we get our water energy attached to the Whale Lord, you may be asking. Well, that is through our little pal Frostmoth here. Ice Stance, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. So you have a Frostmoth set up and you can just pour, pardon the pun, you can pour down Water Energy onto your benched Whalemers and Whale Lords. To search out that Water Energy, we have our Capacious Bucket, a very special card specifically designed for water Pokemon. Search your deck for up to two water energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So super nice there, Capacious Bucket, we run it as a three count. We have a couple of Evo Incense, a couple of Great Ball, just kind of splitting the difference there in terms of our search, and then four Quick Ball, which is pretty much standard in the format right now. We got three Switch and two Air Balloon as our switching options. Of course, the Frost Moth is kind of awkward because you need to have Pokemon on the bench. So it's really ideal with these kinds of decks to have a lot of switches and a lot of, uh, you know, air balloons and things like that. So we have three switch two air balloon to be able to move around our whale lords and have a retreating option when we, you know, say we switch into something and then we put an air balloon on that and we can, you know, power up our whale lord and then retreat into it to attack. Got three buff padding. We're going to lean into that high HP that the whale lord has by incorporating buff padding. Of course, buff padding we can attach to the Whale Lord because it has exactly four retreat costs. And uh, if this card is attached to a Whale Lord, it gets plus 50 HP. Really nice. Brings our HP up to 250, which is, again, very, very significant for a non-tag team for a non-V, uh, VMAX Pokemon. You know, you look at a card like Picaram, tag team, that has 240 health. So if we attach a buff padding to a Waylord, we have more HP than one of the most popular tag teams in the game. We got three uh, regular art uh, research and one full art professor's research that is optimal in this list. No, I'm just kidding. It makes absolutely no difference, but we got that sweet player's cup full art research. So we got to rep it. Uh, so the research, and then we also have four Marnie, four and four, got to have it. And our three bosses orders. Got one training core and one Nessa for recovery of energy. And I honestly, if I were to play this deck again, I might up the counts of those or maybe add some energy retrieval or maybe even add something like an ordinary rod. Because I often find that in the late game, you know, it gets kind of hard to power up attackers. Maybe even, yeah, more Nessa would be kind of cute. Just to be able to get those water energy back into the hand. Rounding out the list, we have 11 water energy in that is the 60 cards for this Waylord deck. It's been a lot of fun to play. I mean, I always love these kinds of Rain Dance, Deluge, you know, Ice Dance, Frost Moth decks. And so being able to just attach a bunch of energy and flood 
pardon the pun, the field with energy uh, is always a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. If you haven't already, please make sure to follow me over on Twitch where I stream three days a week. Twitch.tv slash FlexDaddyRighteous. I also run a podcast with my good friend and fellow regional winner, Riley Hulbert, called Tag Team Pokemon Podcast. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you want to join in the conversation live, you can do so every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern over at Twitch.tv slash Munner. All that info is down in the description below, as is this importable deck list. I give you guys deck lists every single video. So that's it for the deck profile. Let's look at Waylord Frostmoth. Well, here we are back in action with the bad boys from underwater. We got whales, water moths, teaming up to take down the enemies of the format, Crushing Hammer, ADP, and the like. Do get to start off with a little whale whalemer. I said like whale buddy in my head. I, I, let's go with it. Let's roll with it. A whale buddy. I do have a whale lord at hand, but I feel like we might want to pitch it with a Dedenne. Just so that we can try to get some more things set up on the bench. So let's take a bunch of mulligans. I'm pogged out of my gourd. Uh, do we want to? I think... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to go Poggy and we're going to pass because we could get, we theoretically could get a next turn um, one shot. <laughs> we could do 270. How many energy would we need? So 40 plus. So if we had five, that'd be 200 to 10. We had six. We need seven energy on a whale lord to one shot. But they retreat into the or they bird keeper into the grook. They're gonna just manually retreat. Okay, seven energy dream. It'd be like top deck a water. I know we would need a switch too. It's like top deck of water. Uh I mean I guess we have the crowbat, right? Like we should go for it. They pass? They're not even gonna super growth, huh? I don't know if that's BM or what. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Get ourselves out of Snom. We'll go Crobat, because why not? Do this, okay. Get ourselves a moth. The man of the hour. I think we research. I don't think we did Dene here, right? Feels bad to leave that spot there. Um. Yeah, you know, let's just let's just research. I don't want to put two two prizers down if I can avoid it. All right, so nothing doing here for us, and that's fine. Honestly, I'll take that L here. We'll go ahead and quick our great ball. Excuse me. We get a moth. Uh, we'll put down a whalemer, and uh, yeah, we'll be done. We got a decent little hand here for the next turn. I got to decide whether or not to Marnie or research, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So today we made bread. The backlog. You can date the backlog if you've been watching the videos this week. Made bread, cruffins, the croissant muffins. Very tasty. We ended up making a double batch. And basically what you have to do, so it's a huge process, right? So you you make the, the butter pat, and then you put that in between two things of dough, and then you roll the butter out, because the whole point of the butter is to get it nice and flaky. But you can't just have butter and the dough. You got to fold it in thirds, and then you roll it out again, and then you fold that in thirds, and you roll it out again, and you fold that in thirds. Anyway, there's like a very specific number that you get when you roll it out that many times, like, I don't know, 27 folds or something? And uh, 18 folds? I don't know. Whatever it is. A certain number of folds that you get. And um, makes the flakiest pastry. So we ate some of that today. Had some with cinnamon sugar, some plain. I might, I might sneak one after we get out of here. So I'm uh, just hoping my opponent plays real quick so I can go run out and grab me a Cruffin. 
Speaking of Cruffins, Vine Whip Colin got himself a thwacky. Oh, you know what? Maybe he didn't super growth because he had a he had a guy in hand the whole time. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't super grow there. Ah, in any case. Let's go ahead and Evo Incense just for fun. Why the heck not? And then we got a research, man. I want to get an attack off. Nessa. <gasps> we didn't. Oh, no. We're one energy off. Uh, If we do 10 to the active, that's actually math that matters. So let's put... That's Ice Dance. Um, right? That is math that matters, right? Because we can do 260. Yeah. So this is a little awkward, but we're going to ram him. Get rammed, buddy. Of course, we would love to attack with the Waylord, but um, it's just not in the cards. So I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too bad. And then we're going to try to ramp up to get numbers for the... Uh, to get numbers for the Rillaboom. I don't know how reasonable that is with our hand right now. But that is what we're going to go for. We arguably could have like bossed up uh, the Rillaboom, I guess. That could have been like we could have saved the water energy and done 210 to a Rillaboom. Uh, seems fine. Seems fine. Just really stinks missing that energy. We have so much energy left in the deck that I feel pretty confident that we can get one off here off the top here. Just I, I called it just just for what it's worth. I called it off the top. So when we get it off the top, then we can all say government get out of my head together and that'll be really fun. Okay, so we see a voltage beat from my opponent Colin to the benched Pokemon. So no knockout on the snob for Colin today. Will we get that energy? Uh we didn't. We didn't. Didn't get an energy. Um Um, I mean, we ram again, I guess. Let's go ram. <laughs> oh, Waylord's so fat, dude. He's so fat. Why you need so many resources, Waylord? So there's 20 on the active. Got uh, a Rillaboom V. Getting ready to wood hammer me to outer space. See what my opponent has here. They need, I mean, they just should attach an energy and then just go in with the, with the monkey. Just monkey me. Monkey the heck out of me, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we should have been doing this whole time. Okay. Basically just giving us an extra turn. You know what? The tropical hour could also be really bad. Now that I'm thinking about it. Tropical Hour could be actually catastrophic. They pass. I mean, we have the Marnie, right? Like, we can't really afford to not Marnie. Okay. And then I'm thinking that we're not going to need any more Whalmers, right? Well, they, we go one, two. Okay, we might need a Whalmer. I'm thinking we're not going to need that many bosses, though. So let's go ahead and pitch a boss real quick, Ball. Take this Tsunami. I swear, if we don't hit, um, if we don't hit our energy here, what are we doing? Okay, we got two. So two's gonna put us. We're still short. We are still short. I repeat, we're still short. Let's go here. I stance. Let's go retrizzi. Because we can do two, uh, excuse me, yeah, 210. Go Hydro Pump. Oh, yeah, and then, wait, 170, hold on. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, 170, because we're not going to attach that extra energy. We're going to keep that energy in hand um, just, just for the heck of it, you know? And we're down to 16 cards, you know, we haven't seen a single Capacious Bucket. So I don't know what that's all about. But we'll see what my opponent does here. Um, you know, what they want to go with. Ooh, a Shaman. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, yeah. So we know that we could reach up to 210. We know that we could reach up to 210. So we see that calm. We're down three Marnie, dude, and we have 16 cards left. How do we not have more energy in play? That's what I want to know. It's really concerning. That's like you go to college, you get your four-year degree, you come out of college, and uh, it, you realize your field's not hiring. You know, anybody been there? Just me? Okay. It's like you, you go to the gym five days a week and you hire a personal trainer and you look back after six months and you're, you know, fatter with less muscle than you were with when you started. Anyone? That's not a true story for me. That's, that is a, a patented lie. Well, it's not a lie. It's not something that I've ever done. So there's that, um, what, voltage beat there from uh, from the Rillaboom. Going to go ahead and use that ability. And a Marnie, thank goodness. Bless you, Colin. Bless you. Now, my problem is that we're going to get, we're going to lose a lot of energy here. And we have not been the best about doing enough damage. There are our capacious buckets. You love to see them. Um, but yes, we do see a retreat. That seems like the smartest plan. Uh, but they're not knocking out, right? Because we do have that buff padding. So we're at 250 right now. That's, that's a big boy. That is a big boy. They are going to need a Rillaboom VMAX, at which point I think they can reach up to 280. So we'll see if they do have that VMAX or gnaw. See another Thwacky come to hand via the stadium and if they're just gonna wood hammer us i'm dude i'm feeling great thank you so much colin for the opportunity to uh ko you with whale lord i i truly feel blessed well we can't ko right but we can we can come pretty close so then it may have been the misplay to not attach the energy okay you got me Ah, uh, we do see the VMAX. Okay, things just got a little bit more interesting. Because we don't have ways to get the energy out of the discard pile. Oh, they're going to wood hammer. Wait, what? Why? Oh, they're going to do 30. So we do take a knockout. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Get our energy out. Power up another whale lord. Oh, buddy. Why didn't they evolve the VMAX? What are you doing there, guy? <laughs> what are you doing there, guy? All right, Hydro Pump. Take our two prizes. Get another buff padding. You'll love, you love to see it. Volleyball players, where are you at? Alrighty then. They're going to knock us out with Shaman. Respect. Earn some respect. And we definitely need to find our stadium here soon to try to get some more pressure on with our water energy. We have no more water energy in the deck. For what it's worth, we got no more water energy in the deck. Okay, a curious choice. If you're going to use Bird Keeper, I probably would have brought up like, quite literally anything else. I guess they might be going for a Jungle Rising. Heal up all of that damage on the Rowlet, a Lowland Executor. Seems good. Zarud, not a bad, uh, not a bad choice. Especially since, uh, they're gonna pass. Dude, come on, let's go. So we'll go here. We'll go here. Take a look. Pixie Pie through the deck. Yeah, you see it. The one training court. It's all that's uh, all, all that we have left um, to uh, to recover energy. But we still have a gust. We do still have a gust. Dude, why wouldn't you voltage beat? Does he know that he's going to be in a YouTube video? Come on. You got to play your best, buddy. Let me just let me friend you a little bit and send you a little message. Hey, I stream 
every uh you know three times a week over at twitch.tv slash flex daddy righteous perhaps you could learn a thing or two colin so there's a boss on the whale lord fair throw some respect on it we got one switch left we need the marnie or excuse me we need the uh, boss's orders so i think we're chilling i think we are chilling with this last water energy, I think I will attach it to the Whale Lord, and that way we could uh, we could KO a Zarude or a Crobat should they bring it active. We could just top deck a boss. I think we do have a boss remaining, I believe. Off of that turf field, I did see that boss. So we'll take another look through the deck. If we do have another switch in the deck, then we'll just go ahead and Marnie. Why not? Let's see a voltage beat. A couple of energy hit the Shaman Prism. And they're just going to do 60. That feels, uh, that feels very sad, man. That feels very sad, man. But we're content to take our time and just set up the, uh, set up the win with the boss. There's no need to switch into a Waylord. Because what we could, what we do if we switch into the Waylord, the problem with that is that we could get, um, we could get bodied by like a, I don't know, a tropical hour or something like that. Like they knock out our whale lord and then they knock out our next whale lord, and we we need to force them to have gus because the more gus that they have to find, you know, the harder it gets for them, right? Because they probably only play like three gust in this deck. See another quick ball from my opponent. Likely gonna get one of those support Pokemon that I'm always talking about. Oh, those those silly Dedenes and Crobats. <laughs> Nah, okay. Just kidding. They're gonna they're gonna ravage their hand. Their hand is uh just one card. That's yeah, not a supporter. Alright, 60 damage. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Alright, let's attach this here. Let's take a look through the deck. We do have a switch. Uh, but I don't think it makes any sense to. Does it make sense to switch here? I suppose it would, right? Cause then they're gonna get all their energy out. At this point, they don't they don't have a way to one shot a whale lord. So I think we actually just do switch here. Let's go for it. I know I said that we weren't going to, but there's nothing that can one shot us. So we'll take out their energy from play. We'll knock out their active. Uh, get ourselves another useful useless card, and then we have the Marnie if we need it. But opponents down to one card, so they have to top deck like a legend. Otherwise, we're taking this double with the Waylord, and I am not going to ask for a refund. Zarudi comes active. Looks like Zarud is like in a Pilates class or something, a Jazzercise class. We had a teacher in um, high school. It was We drove him insane, I think. I think we actually did drive him insane. I'm pretty sure he was our last. He was... The last time that he taught AP Chemistry was our class, but he was like a hidden jazzercizer. One time, one of the kids caught him in the football weight room doing his jazzercise, and he had the full, like, you know, 80s garb on, too, like matching sweatpants with the jack, the track jacket, headband. Yeah. Good times. Anybody else have a weird, like, teacher quirk like that? Middle school or high school. We had a middle school teacher. She was cool. She was a band teacher. Always drove a green Mustang. And we all thought, man, you're the coolest, Mrs. M. You're so cool. Got that green Mustang. I don't know how, like, what? Looking back on it as a responsible adult, I don't know how you get away with driving a green Mustang in the frigid winters of Michigan. Like, that... It can't be good to drive a muscle car like the entire year in the climate of Michigan. But I digress. There's a professor's research. I'm just I'm I'm appalled at some of these choices. They they opted to go on the Rowlet at Alolan Executor. I, I don't know the one that's damaged. I have no idea. Yeah, there we go. We do see that Scoop Waylord. 
MVP, MVP, bro. You're the you the real MVP. All right, we got one more game with this deck. Because I can feel it's just far too strong. It's far too strong for me to hold on to. <laughs> All right. Anthony Dom, you're up. Next man up, buddy. Don't even think about doing any tricky things, okay? Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You want to play like that, huh? You want to play like that, huh? Okay. 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 Well. Goodbye. <sighs> See? No. Oh, no. Little snommy. No snom. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yikes yikers all right well i guess the best we could hope for is like our opponent plays a marnie or something that would be pretty gas no snoms on the first turn we did have an opportunity to go for one but we went for a dedene instead uh there's the aurora hot choice here man that's cute dude gonna go with the quick ball should get out of zashin i mean come on Let's see, we had a middle school teacher that allegedly, I wasn't there, they allegedly broke a chair over a student? Or, no, no, I don't want to misrepresent. They broke, let's see, they threw a chair at a student. <laughs> What's worse? I don't know. They threw a chair at a student, I don't think they hit them. Anyway, I had that teacher back in 10th grade. I mean, I I didn't have them in I did have them in middle school, and then they got like, uh, they got put on leave, and then they came back, and they taught us in high school. I don't know how that works. Does seem a little bit sketchy, I know. So there's a Galarian Meowth coming down. Do we see the energy switch for the T1, or are we gonna get the bust of Whalmer? Excuse me, Whale Lord up. Oh, a zombie. Okay. Okay. A Duri. A Dura Ludon. We get that, uh, that Dadini. Any? Okay. We do see an energy switch. All right. The backs are against the wall, ladies and gentlemen. The backs are against the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Galarian Meowth, you're coming up. Oh, we got the research. Let's go. We needed that. We needed that. How much will it help? Only time will tell. But we at the very least, I guess we'll evolve. Right? Is there any reason not to evolve there? I don't think so, buddy. And, uh, well, we'll pass. Okay, okay. Crushing hammer. No. No, not like this. Well, we do have a Nessa. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. They're gonna boss up our Snom, you cruel man. They're gonna boss up our Dedene. Let's go. All right. How are you gonna get yourself out of this one, Crewall? We kind of needed that one prizer. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of did need that one prizer, though. All right, we could top deck a switch or an air balloon. We could top deck a switch or an air balloon. So I, that's that's what I'm going for. All right. So we bring up the snom. Are we look for a switch or an air balloon? Not quite. Not quite. Okay. D we'll need like a turn or two. Okay. Let's go gust this guy up. Let's go here. Take our last remaining frost moth. From the uh, from the deck, we'll go ice dance, ice dance. Oh jeez, I wish this Nessa was like a research and a switch. 
all in one, and then we'll pass. Ouchie. No way do they have Switch. It's just not humanly possible. They're gonna Marnie, I told you. I told you they didn't have Switch. Now, whether or not they have Switch in this hand, that's a different story. But I told you that they didn't have Switch that time. They're going to Intrepid Sword. Let's go. All right, buddy. Capacious Bucket, please. Not quite. Okay. Uh, Well, Ice Stance. Put it there. So we take a knockout on the Perserker. And then we got to find ourselves a knockout. Let's see. We're doing 210, right? 210. So we could gust up a Dedenne. Um, I feel like now is a great time to try to go. Well, we need to take out attackers is the problem. Right? Because then they just come. Oh, well. No. No. You know what? We don't need to take out attackers. What's our, what's our lineup? We're going to go Perserker. They're going to bring up Zashin. We knock that out. And then they're going to bring up ADP and we knock that out. So, yeah, we go Marnie here. 100%. All day. All day, baby. And we hope to draw into Nessa. <laughs> All right, let's go training court. Pick up an energy. Um, Put this down. Let's go Great Ball. One... One Whalmer, please. Uh, retreat. Yeah. Retreat. Ice Dance. Ice Dance. And then... Knockout. And we hope we get a Crobat off of this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby! Oh, you hate to see it. All right, so we're still in it. We're still in it. We're like four turns deep into an ADP that got the turn one GX, and we're still in it. Oh, two crushing hammers. It hurts. I'm physically affected by those crushing hammer flips. Ouchie. Ai Chihuahua. There's a brave blade. Oh. We need a Nessa off the rip here to have any hope. I think that's literally the only card that will save us at this point. Because we just do not have enough energy in play. We need the Nessa. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> oh, so close. All right. Well, GG to my opponent for playing. Well, you know what? It's not over. It's not over. It's never over. It's never over. Well, Ice Dance. We gotta, we gotta make them have it, right? Quick ball. Yeah, we like quite literally need Nessa. Um, maybe, oh geez, that's tough. Okay, maybe we should have, oh gosh. Let's see, what gives us the best chance? We go here, retreat. Into this whale lord, so that we can attach air balloon and retreat into this whale lord. We just don't have enough resources to do it. We'll see what my opponent does. We'll see what my opponent does. I guess we could get research. We could have retreated into the other one, and then we could have gotten research. And we had two water left. The problem is just having the water left. If we if we, if we could get a one shot on this Ashen, we could do something. But yeah, there's the switch. They should have just retreated and then sw Okay, it doesn't matter. GG's to my opponent. The ADP taking us down, but that is the Waylord Frostmoth deck. Super fun option uh, for somebody looking for, you know, a partner for Waylord or a partner for Frostmoth. I guess a partner for Waylord would be Frostmoth, but super fun deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Let me know down in the comments below is, uh, you know, is Waylord something that is worth testing out a little bit more? Maybe I could have tweaked the list or something to give us a little bit of a better chance. But hey, we had fun and that's uh, that's half a Pokemon anyway. So remember to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Remember guys, good luck and also have fun.